Hey guys, and welcome back to Homes on Wheels. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brandon, and today we're at the home place in Pinson, Alabama, and we're going to be filming this Buccaneer home called the Stark. Let's go ahead and go take a look on the inside and see what it looks like. These homes are so awesome nowadays, you just never know what you're going to walk in and see. And this home right here looks like it's not going to be a disappointment. It looks like it's going to be a really nice house. Immediately, you're caught by the wood beams in the ceiling. That's what my eyes went to immediately, and that's because they're a darker wood against that white, and I think it looks beautiful, guys. I love the beams. I love the wood accents in this home. Everything's a little bit different. If you look, you've got wood up there around the top and around the bottom. Most of the time, that's white. It's just a little bit different. I'm going to sit on this couch right here and show you what you would see if you lived in this home. Put my foot up, kick it back. This right here is beautiful, guys. I love the open floor plan. It's not overwhelming in the sense of that there's just so much room that you feel like you have to yell at somebody if they're across the way, but it definitely is much better than being closed off. Take a look at all of those canned lights. <laughs> there is so many canned lights in this home, it's ridiculous. You don't have to worry about it being dark, that's for sure. Let's turn around and take a look over here where I was just sitting. There's the couch, and as you can tell, they've got it partially staged today. These homes move so fast, I don't know how they have time to stage anything. If you look down at the floor, it looks like hardwood, but this is a vinyl, and it is beautiful. It is a very nice, thick vinyl, so you don't have to worry about it tearing if you drag your furniture or anything like that. As we spin around, you can see the dining room over here, and the thermostat's going to be right here in the living area, and I like that. A lot of times, they took these thermostats so far away that it makes your heat and air either run too much or not enough because you can't get the temperature right. It's in the hallway or something like that. So it's nice that it's in the living area. It's a good sized dining room. And for those of you that like the white cabinets, this home has the white cabinets and the dark countertops. It does have what appears to be the wood countertops, but this is not wood. It just looks like it and it makes it easier to clean. This is one of the few homes that have black appliances and a black sink. These are Frigidaire, so they are a very nice brand. They're not an off-brand appliance. And nowadays, appliances are worth their weight in gold. I can't believe we had to buy a refrigerator recently, and holy cow, was it expensive. That's a double basin black sink right here. Heath, it don't pull down. What's going on? Only kidding. You got your sprayer right here to the side. Some people like having it separate like that. You do have a window that opens above it. You do have a tile backsplash around the back there. Let's see what it looks like in this drawer. Nice big drawer. Cabinets are fairly deep. And let's take a look at the island. Wow, that's a big island. Look at the size of that drawer. What you gonna put in there? Put a watermelon in there. I'm only kidding. <laughs> it's big enough you could put one though. Right over here would be a good spot for your coffee maker or Margarita machine. Y'all hear me say that. I don't drink coffee. That's why I always make the joke about margaritas. My wife loves coffee, but I, I just I can't get on board with it. We walked right by it when we walked through the dining room a second ago. But over here to this side is going to be the laundry room. So you can see that you got your room for your washer and your dryer right here. Let's open this up. I'll show you all the heat and air return. And around behind us here is an exterior rear door. Alrighty, now that we have inspected the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room, let's go check out some bedrooms. Or let's see what's back here. Honestly, I haven't walked through this home yet, so I'm kind of winging it as we go. So let's see what's back here. Looks like we might have a den. To the right right here is the guest bathroom. It does have a single piece shower unit. It does have that nice countertop and counters that uh, seem to match the uh, kitchen right here. And right here, it is like a little den. So this is nice. If you have kids and say they're always hogging the TV, I know my daughter, we can't get it off the Disney Channel hardly. It would be nice to have a separate room. Oh, look at that. That's an old Singer sewing machine table right there. That's pretty neat. I like whoever's doing the staging in this homes that I've noticed that they've got a lot of antiques and stuff that they've been throwing in, which is neat. So let's go to the first guest bedroom right here. As you can see, it transitions from that vinyl floor to a carpet. 
The dark trim maintains through the bedrooms. There is a single window in here and I'm gonna get over in the corner and do a slow pan for you guys so you can see how big it is. I guess that was slow, I don't know. <laughs> and let's take a look at the closet. Pretty decently sized closet here. And let's go ahead and step next door and go take a look at this other guest bedroom. Another room that looks to be almost identical to the size room we just came out of. Let's see how the closet looks. This closet's a little bit smaller, not much. There again, plenty of room to be able to put what you need to in there. So let's go ahead and make our way towards the master. I know a lot of you are pretty excited to see the master bedrooms and bathrooms on these homes because that's usually where they put the wow factor. I guess they figure whoever's paying the mortgage at that point, that that's where they're gonna be staying. So they dump a lot of the time and thought into the design into these areas. Here we go, this is a very nice size master bedroom. You got plenty of room for your bed in any direction. You can set it up over here. You could even put it in front of the windows. You could even put it on this wall over here behind us. Let's take a look right here. Here's your closet, master bedroom closet. A lot of you don't like the wire racks. Keep in mind, like we say in all of our videos, you can buy the wooden racks on Amazon for 40 or 50 bucks. So that's not a deal breaker. The carpet is in here on the floor. And some of you that are in colder regions, seem to like the carpet better. Let us know in the comments below. Do you like carpet? Do you like the faux wood? Or what style floor do you prefer? Ceramic tile? Heck, I would just like to know. Personally, I know that I do like carpet in the bedrooms. So here we go, guys. What do you think this is gonna look like? It's the master bathroom. When you walk in on the right, you have a beautiful double vanity sink. You do have the mirrors above it. Those beautiful cabinets and the same handles that match the kitchen and the guest bathroom are in here. And look at the size of that tub. Wow, big old massive tub. Got your room for your arms down here on both sides. Your faucets over here to this side. You've got some built-in cubbies up here for towels. They've even got a towel laid there to kind of show you what it's for. Here's your toilet over here to this side. And here's your shower. This is a Clayton built home, apparently. I did not know that. Just reading that off the shower. I don't know if Clayton owns Buccaneer or not. That's kind of interesting. That is a single piece shower unit, so you don't have to worry about the leaks. Now let's talk about price. This is a good budget home with a lot of space. So if you are looking for a home that is sub 150,000, this is it. Currently right now, as of June, 2023, the price is 146.9. You can see that it has finished sheetrock, it's energy efficient, thermopane windows, two by six sidewalls, almost 1,500 square feet. That's really hard to beat, 98.50 per square foot. I would probably say you ought to jump on the market and go see how much houses are going for right now, and that would be a, an eye opener for that price point. There again, we're about to go tour another home, and it's gonna be that home right there, that blue one. So right up here in this box, click that box and follow us into our next home tour.